guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? And we are back with another How About Them Celtics video. Sam and I are here recording on Sunday, March 31st, and we are going to be talking about Derek White and Chris Stops Porzingis. Before we do, as always, make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the How About Them Celtics YouTube channel. We have new videos dropping every day at 5 a.m. Live Monday, Wednesday, Friday as well with Bobby Kravitsky of SMD Group for Talking Seas. So let's get into it. Uh, we're talking after the Celtics beat the Pelicans. I wrote about this a little bit in my three things uh, after that game. It's basically Derek White, Kristaps Porzingis doing stuff together means good. It equals good is basically what we're talking about today. I have, let me see how many clips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 12. 13 clips, <clears throat> plus a little bit more in my article today <clears throat> of those two doing things together equaling good. And now you may say, oh, that's not, that's not that bad. That's a reasonable amount of clips. There is no place to look at fine stuff find clips of them in the action together. So I am manually searching through Derek White assists, looking for what, if it's spawning out of Derek White, Christoph Przingis pick and roll. I'm looking at uh, Christoph Przingis shots, looking if it comes from that. I'm looking at Derek White shots coming out of that. And I managed to find 12 clips that represent this in the span of what I was sitting here with Sam for like 10 minutes. Like that, that is how good it is that it is always spawning in uh, or always resulting in good shots. <clears throat> found a few stats to back it up. It is tough to find exact stats without having like second spectrum or anything because you really need those to look at like, oh, who is scoring what out of these very specific scenarios. NBA.com just doesn't provide that. Like th that's not like public information. That is like you need to purchase a, a NBA stats subscription to a specific site to find that. However, I do know that Derek White pick and roll um, – Results in 0.99 points per possession, which is, I think, around top 15-ish uh, among the 50 players who have had 250-plus uh, pick-and-roll possessions this year. That's on par with the likes of Tyrese Maxey's 0.98 points per possession, Trey Young's 0.98 points per possession, James Harden is 0.97 points per possession in the pick-and-roll as the ball handler. As far as Kristaps Porzingis, now there is no pick-and-pop. Like You can't really look at mm. oh, pick-and-pop. How many points per possession do you get out of that? However, Kristaps Porzingis pick and roll when he is the role man in the pick and roll of people uh, or, or excuse me of players who have had at least 150 possessions um he is i think like fifth <laughs> he, he he's the same as Jokic for what it's worth when he rolls he is the same as Jokic I'm there you go so, and the video <clears throat> yeah right there but i do have some clips um and while i pull them up i'll let you speak because it's been a lot of me talking to start this video so. uh it's okay yeah. you did all the work you wrote about this it's absolutely fine uh yeah man Derek white porzingis good pairing to say the least every time they do something it seems to end well i know the clips will show that off but we have been talking about this for a while now and you specifically have hammered on it where Late in the game, maybe maybe let them do this. When Please. you're struggling and, and Tatum is showing off all his sick handles, maybe this should be happening. And so maybe it's time to give Derek White the ball and let Porzingis set the old screen and go to the basket. Yeah. And for what it's worth, like you can run this with Tatum as you can run this with Tatum in either spot. Tatum can be the ball handler with Porzingis screening. He can be the screener for Derek White. Like that's just as effective. Or I'll say that's also effective. But what makes Porzingis Derek White so effective is you take a guy with so much gravity because he is seven three, but can also shoot. So people have you have to follow him into the paint or to the three point right. line with a guy like Derek White, who is I would say the best decision maker on the team with the ball in his hands. Just he just is. Um, Plus the fact that he is smaller. Like if you run Tatum as the, as the ball handler with um, Kristaps Porzingis as the screener, you're going to get some forwards who could probably guard Porzingis a little bit better than let's just say CJ McCollum is guarding Derek White. He is cooked if he gets on Porzingis. So I'll pull up the article that I wrote for Celtics blog and we can watch uh, some of those clips first. And then I have a bunch more that I pulled from throughout the entire season so far. But um. Oh, I guess I didn't pull up the article. Three things from Celtics Pelicans. Uh, my number two bullet point, I believe, was um, White Porzingis offense. Oh, Good sick. things happen. Good things happen when they these two are in the action. So watch here. Porzingis sets a screen on McCollum. <clears throat> Derek White gets over it. They have to switch, putting Zion on Derek White. But Zion is, is stunting to Derek White and then getting back. So CJ McCollum has time to recover. But since he is pressed up, Porzingis could have a role, which forces Trey Murphy to help over from the corner. And then easy pass to Jalen Brown. Jalen hits a contested three. 
easy offense, right? Everything is happening because of the gravity that Derek White and Christoph Porzingis are creating in this action. Screen, CJ McCollum's out of the play. Zion has to help up. Trey Murphy has to help over. Derek White makes a good pass to the quarter. It doesn't always result in a Derek White or Porzingis bucket. It just creates great offense. Like that, that is now Jack. Yes. You said on the stream, what if this is crunch time and they don't help off? I did. You want to know what happens? Tell me. If Trey Murphy doesn't help off here, Porzingis gets an easy bucket. If Trey Murphy is not here, Zion gets beat because he's backpedaling because he had to step up. Derek White can lob this over to Porzingis in the paint right here because he's seven foot three and Zion six six. Also, That's not for nice. nothing. Tatum is also wide open. So not only is exactly. Jalen an open exactly. look in the corner, but the, the help <laughs> defender on Tatum is completely moving in the wrong direction. If Derek White was to rifle it to the opposite corner, that's also a wide open three. Or if this was crunch time and Trey Murphy was more hesitant to help off, Porzingis would kick it to Porzingis, or excuse me, Derek White would kick it to Porzingis in the paint. Um, Herb Jones would help over into the paint to avoid the layup, and then Porzingis could just pass it over to Tatum for an open corner three. Well, and he's got to make it this time. That's the key. Well, you are asking an awful lot there. The but, last couple minutes of the game, you're asking Tatum to make shots. You might as well play then, the lottery. Then there's this one. Same thing with CJ McCollum guarding Derek White, except this time Derek White rejects the screen, takes it to baseline, leaving Porzingis just butt naked open for a three. Mm -hmm. He fakes it out, and then the Pelicans are lost. <laughs> Pelicans are just lost from here. <laughs> Finds Brown. Easy bucket underneath. Like, all of this comes because CJ McCollum is anticipating a screen. So he is too far over. He's too far slid, uh, sliding over, trying to get over the screen that Derek White says, no, nah, I'm not taking that anymore. Herb Jones has to cut in because CJ took a step too far and Derek White would have had, had an open floater. So Porzingis gets it here. But since he was open, Trey Murphy already helped over. And so Herb Jones realizes this and then goes to get Tatum instead. Even though, But then Zion had rotated there. <laughs> so Herb Jones is running to the corner. But since Herb Trey Jones, Murphy was... By the way. Mm -hmm. who just takes off on the most ridiculous looking <laughs> scramble you'll ever see. Insane. He looks like he, he looks like a circus clown trying to run. <laughs> but then <laughs> since he is going to Drew Holiday and Trey Murphy was coming at a weird angle, Porzingis gets a free drive and then Jalen Brown is wide open because Najee Marshall had to come help over. And like, it, it's easy. <laughs> like they just couldn't rotate quick enough because good things happen out of Derek White, Christoph Porzingis pick and roll. And then if you want to talk about with Derek White getting the bucket <clears throat> at worst, if the Pelicans play good defense, are, are you don't have sound here, right? Making sure. No, no sound. Do you have clean. sound? Okay, good. I'm just making sure. Um, <clears throat> Derek White doesn't even have to handle the ball. This is a dribble handoff. Derek White goes to get it. They stay home on their guys, play good defense. But then, I mean, I don't know about you, Sam. I'm a okay with Derek White attacking CJ McCollum in the lane. <laughs> it sounds like a good thing. Agree. To me. I mean, Derek White going downhill is a pretty solid finisher. Exactly. I trust Derek White finishing through traffic more than a few guys on this team that you would think I trust more than that. But the case is Derek White's floater is nasty. It drops at an incredible rate. He has incredible touch going inside. There's no reason to not trust him in a situation as the ball handler. There's just not. There's going to be plenty more clips that Jack shows, and you're going to see he's patient. He's collected. He's making good decisions. This should absolutely be an option when the Celtics are trying to close out an opponent or retake the lead on a late bucket. There, it, mm -hmm. It's just so under control. The defense is under a ton of pressure. And it's something that they may not be as prepared for as Tatum dribbling the ball or even just Tatum as the ball handler in mm -hmm. general, even if he's not just doing an ISO. Because you see so much of that late in the game, it's easy to prepare for. Agree. Now, we're going to play, I don't want to call it a game, but I don't know what order these clips are in. They are completely scrambled in my tabs. I don't know what's what. I don't know what is an example of them getting a bucket for somebody else. What is an example of Kristaps Porzingis getting a bucket? So we're just going to watch them, and we're going to appreciate it, how all good things come out of Kristaps and Derek White handling the ball. So let's take a look here. <clears throat> we'll start here. We're on Christmas Day. Lakers. Oh, what a jersey Beautiful. matchup. Beautiful, right? <laughs> and now you have sound. I'll mute it every you time. Sound, don't worry yes. about it. Yeah. Uh, Derek White gets the ball. Uh, on the wing, Austin Reeves guarding him. Kristaps goes to set a screen. They don't actually set the screen. They switch it. So now you're left with Austin Reeves guard trying to guard Kristaps Porzingis in the paint. 
and Derek White attacking Torian Prince. Now, this isn't that, like a basic screen roll. This they, the Lakers blow it up because they switch, right? Mm-hmm. But then that forces LeBron to come over to Porzingis, which leaves Austin Reeves scrambling to get out to Drew Holiday. So Derek White kicks it to Drew Holiday, but since Austin Reeves was stepping up from the other side of the court, Drew Holiday blows by him, and then just cheese, <laughs> easy, done, right? Like this, this all came because the Lakers tried to switch a Derek White, Kristaps Porzingis uh, pick and roll. Austin Reeves isn't capable of guarding Porzingis, and so LeBron had to help over, and Austin Reeves was off balance. It all comes from that, all of it from right there. I mean, Money. Porzingis is just such a weapon because of how big he is and how skilled exactly. he is. They, they, you just showed it. They have to overreact just in the possibility that he would get the ball against Austin Reeves because if he does catch the ball near the free throw line, all he's going to do is turn around and flick it in like he's playing Nerf. Mm-hmm. It's the easiest that- bucket ever. Mm-hmm. And you did a great job of picking a clip that displays how much of a shambles it put the Lakers in just by thinking that that may happen. Mm-hmm. And that's why having Derek White as the ball handler is so valuable because he is guarding guys who cannot guard Kristaps Porzingis at all, <laughs> at all. And so if you get them on a switch, <clears throat> you're done. Now, I hate to do this to you, Sam. But this is a Pistons clip, and I'm very sorry. But we're going to be... It's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, you're showing the Pistons trying to defend something that's almost impossible to defend. This is true. It's not their fault. Uh, very similar situation. Jaden Ivey is going to get screened by Porzingis here. Uh, let me turn the sound off. Uh, except Derek White rejects the screen, uh, which puts a one-on-one. Everyone staying home. Everyone staying home. Derek White on Jaden Ivey in the lane. Kicks it out free. I get maybe this isn't as much <laughs> of screen and roll. The, I think the bigger point is James Wiseman is forced to extend out to the three point line to guard Kristaps Porzingis uh, and Cade Cunningham and Jaden Ivey are not very good defenders. Maybe, maybe that's maybe that's more. Well, the there's also the play. panic that there's no one to help on the drive now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, because Derek White. I mean, I guess if Ivy's a bad defender, he's going to get that floater off. So Cunningham has to help. This was an open floater, by the way. He could have yes. easily gotten this floater off. Correct. He just chose to kick it to Jalen Brown in the corner anyways. Uh, and I was surprised Jalen didn't shoot this, to be honest. But I guess it worked out. <laughs> hey, that was his bully ball, like, week, three-week mm-hmm. period where he's yeah. just going through everybody. Football season may be over, but the action on the floor is heating up. Whether it's a tournament season or the fight for a playoff home court, there's no shortage of high-stakes basketball moments this time of year. Get in on the excitement with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app, where you can turn your hoops knowledge into serious cash. Testing my skills on Prize Picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $1,000 with just a few taps. Prize Picks is really simple to play, and I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds download the app today and use code clns for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars use the code clns for the first deposit match up to a hundred dollars pick more pick less it's that easy Mm. now i'll make you happy again sam because we're back on christmas back on christmas day with the lakers uh Derek white a ball has the ball against torian prince this time uh, Chris Stops Porzingis goes to set a screen above the wing, gets Anthony Davis switched on to Derek White because, again, as they were in the last clip, Lakers are switching. Lakers have gone to a Austin Reeves-less, Reeves-less lineup to avoid uh, having to double switch and send help and then having him scramble out. But now you mm-hmm. have, excuse me, Derek White on Anthony Davis, Chris Stops Porzingis guarding by uh, Torian Prince, and then Tatum sets a second screen, which they switch again because they're switching everything. And this time Jalen Brown comes up, drives past Porzingis who sets a half screen and just cooked because they're switching everything. But uh, like, because he had Torian Prince on him, Anthony Davis wasn't able to drop back and play defense because Torian Prince isn't as good of a defender in the paint <clears throat> and you're done <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> you, just, you can't do anything <laughs> when these two start to play. Good things happen. Every, like almost every Celtic was involved in this play <laughs> and good things happen. <laughs> The great Good thing about that. this is <clears throat> you can just use it as a weapon to get the defense out of place. I mean, we saw it the first time they played the Lakers, and we've seen in the past how effective switch everything can be just a, in a general perspective from the NBA with the Celtics doing it years ago, and it was like, oh, my gosh, this is a whole new thing. They're nasty at this. Once they figured out how to do it, it was almost unstop or unscorable. Like you, you're in the torture chamber if you're trying to score on Rob Williams and the boys. Now you can see how – 
I mean, just having Porzingis makes it so you have to take Reeves out, who had a career high or not career mm-hmm. high season high against the Celtics the following game. When they match up in Boston, he is an effective player for the Lakers, even though he's probably a little overrated. He's not like a bum bum. He's mm-hmm. he's still somebody that they like to have out there. But because you're able to pick on him like that, you can you can take him out of the game and get all these guys in rotation. Anthony Davis, who hasn't been hurt this year and he's done a great job of blocking shots, you get to take him out of the paint. Mm-hmm. It's just a it's a good uh method of practice when you're trying to make easy buckets. And if you really want to think about it. You look at the Celtics' potential pathway in the East, right? Tyrese Maxey would probably have to guard Derek White. Uh, Tyler Hero would probably have to guard Derek White. Dame would probably have to guard Derek White, right? Like, uh, I'm trying to think. Whoever the Magic's point guard is on that given night would have to guard Derek White. Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell would have to guard Derek White. And so if you think about it from the context of the Celtics can run Derek White, Christophs, Porzingis, pick and roll, those people would also have to deal with having to guard Porzingis. And any of those names I mentioned guarding Porzingis sounds like two thumbs up from the Celtics, if you're me. Um, So sounds good to me. Next clip we have uh, is against the Pacers, who are a notoriously amazing defense, obviously. Um, (laughs) So Derek White gets the ball uh, above the wing here um, with Buddy Heald on him. Miles Turner is guarding Porzingis. Small screen, slips in immediately, but Derek White's already ahead of Buddy Heald here. Uh, and then once he get into that position, not only did Derek White have an open floater because he was already around Buddy Heald, but Kristaps Porzingis was also just butt naked open <laughs> from three-point range. Yeah, Miles this Turner's is, is kind of no no man's land. Saying. Like He's like, am I going to help? Am I not going to help? Am I going to guard my guy? Am I not going to guard my guy? I kind of don't know, say. and then I got turned around a weird way. He's lost. My story does nothing on this possession. This, this is where the angry coaching guy would be like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> this is Yaka Pertle level of what the hell? Make a decision here, brother. <laughs> Come on, man. This is terrible. Like guard, guard Porzingis or get back into the paint. And for what it's worth, Derek White could have easily just kicked this back out, but he had an open floater and it could like chicken it, easy. <laughs> Not even close. Yeah, the Derek White floater is a great shot. Plain and simple. No need to kick it out, even though at this time, Porzingis was a laser from 3-2. He's been a little bit colder lately. I hope he gets going again before the playoffs, but when he's on, he's truly almost unstoppable. Mm -hmm. All right, we got Sixers now. DeAnthony Melton guarding White. Tobias Harris guarding Porzingis. Sixers have a pretty sound defensive lineup on the floor, and now no Maxi, right? Mm -hmm. However, Kristaps Porzingis screens DeAnthony Melton. Tobias Harris helps up, and since he helped up, Sorry, you lose. You, you you're done. You help up. You're done. Like, you can't do anything because Kristaps Porzingis. If Joel Embiid helped any sooner, Kristaps Porzingis could have just shoveled this to Horford in the corner, which he probably still could have done. Um, and Nick Batum can't leave Sam Bowser in the other corner, and so you you just lose. <laughs> you just like, dude. Th- this is one of the best examples of it. Like, what are you supposed to do, Sam? How do you guard this? <laughs> Good luck, buddy. You pray. That's what you do. Because. I mean, Embiid was down there helping, and he was so quick to finish, it didn't even affect the shot. And like you said, Horford was there if they really had their head on the swivel and were looking for an extra pass. Yep. They just did a great job of ruining whatever Philly was trying to do on defense. And it was just a simple action like this. We just keep seeing it. And by the way, this is a point in the game where the Celtics are one of eight from three. So Philly has that in mind and is able to help on the (laughs) roll. And it still is just an easy look for Porzingis. Mm -hmm. And the best part is, like, if Melton went under the screen the first time, if he had gone under it again, it's just an open Derek White three. (laughs) You can't go under it twice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this Celtics offense they built is too good to just run isos at the end of games. Is basically Jack, how excited are you to go back to a game and be like, Joe, why don't you do this? Uh, I'm I'm nervous. I I don't like asking those types of questions. I get anxious. I'm like, why aren't we... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but maybe hopefully if I was there after the Pelicans game, I would have, cause they spammed it at the end of that Pelicans game. Correct. I was like, it's working. Like how, how much do you want to run that at the end of games versus other? Well, games? I have you, I have you in my thoughts, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that next time you get to go to a game, they just spam it at the end. Would be cool. Or, or it's Wouldn't enough like of an impact play <laughs> for you to be like, Hey, what do you think about this? Mm-hmm. We'll see. We have early season game against the heat. Um, I believe, or no mid season game against the heat. Sorry. Derek White brings the ball up. Um, Porzingis is there. Let me make sure I'm full screen. Yep. An example of Hero having to guard Derek White. Chris Stops doesn't even set the screen. <laughs> Can we appreciate that? Chris Stops doesn't even set the screen. Just the thought of him setting the screen had Tyler Hero thinking about it. 
Mm. <laughs> he was so far over. This actually, this is actually just really bad defense from Tyler Hero. It's like they're, they're, I guess they're okay with just switching this because he's, he, I guess he's trying to stop Derek White from rejecting the screen because that Correct. entire side of the floor is open. Um, but then what happens is Derek White just gets all the way around him. Kevin Love has to step up and then alley oop. Super cool dunk. <laughs> like, the alley oop is funny here because. <laughs> If you replay it, Duncan Robinson is also lost. As Horford cuts through the middle and makes his way out to the three-point line, that is also going to be an option. If they decide to do that, instead, they just get the easiest bucket in the game. Super cool dunk. Sir, not even close. See you later. <clears throat> All right. Nice to see Hero get dunked on, too. This actually, I don't know if this is like fully a Derek White, Christopher Singh's pick and roll. It is just Derek White initiating the offense and good things happening. So we'll watch this one, too. This is a quick one. This is an inbounds play against Philly. Um, you missed the exact inbound. Or no, you don't. So Tatum sets a down screen um, for Porzingis, and Kelly Oubre gets lost. And then just... just <laughs> <laughs> just, it's just easy. <laughs> My point is, when Derek White has the ball in his hands and Christoph Trzegis is on the floor, those two should probably connect in some way. Good things happen. That's that's what this one was. <laughs> it's remarkable how great of a chemistry they've developed in just, what, seven-eighths of a season? Mm -hmm. Just a, a really quick gelling. And, and that's really been the story of the Celtics all year is, like, a lot of new pieces this summer. Guys came in right away, got along, all committed to winning, and you're seeing the dividends of it most of the nights here when they're just doing stuff like this, making defenses look silly because they're so connected. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the chemistry they developed. This is the home opener, so they didn't even have time to develop the chemistry. This is just credit to how good they are uh, as well. Again, Tyler Hero having to guard um, Derek White. Kevin Love on Kristaps Porzingis. Kristaps sets the screen. Tyler Hero stops Derek White from rejecting it. Derek White, free lane. Free drive against Tyler Hero. This is the same as the free drive he got against CJ McCollum in the Pelicans game. If you can get Derek White against a guard that's not very good at defense, good things happen because he's a great finisher around the rim. Easy peasy. And then O'Shea said also just like throws a bow in the paint trying to get the rebound. Sorry, Kevin Love. <laughs> he just... <laughs> Actually, it was kind of Lowry who got his way, but yeah. <clears throat> good things. Matt Lowry. <clears throat> good things. Next, we got the Dallas game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Derek White dribbling the ball, top of the key. Chris Opsberg sets the screen on Kyrie Irving. Derek Lively's in this play, but Derek Lively gets caught in no man's land because of the threat of Porzingis rolling to the hoop. Meaning Derek White just gets the freest floater you'll ever see in your life in the middle of the lane. Like, just... Dallas just full of great defensive guards. <laughs> you can't do anything, man. Uh, Kyrie can't go under it because Derek White can pull up. Derek Lively can't help over because Porzingis is rolling. Just, you're cooked. <laughs> Derek White easy floater in the lane, no problem. We got four more clips, and then we're done. Oh, look at that. We got Dallas again. Welcome back, Dallas. <clears throat> Let's see. Derek White gets the ball in the corner because two guys go. <laughs> look at this. Look at this overreaction to Chris Thompson is having the ball. This is actually guy's really nasty. This is actually just really bad defense from Luka Doncic. <laughs> like, wow. You're st you stop the pass, and then you just go there. And then it's also bad defense from everybody else because they overreact. If you're If you're... Like, no communication between Kyrie Irving and Derek Lively. They both react to Jalen Brown running to the rim. <laughs> kind of bizarre seeing Jalen pass it up, to be honest with you. It looked like he had a Jalen didn't pass it up. Jalen didn't pass it up. Derek White passed it directly to Tatum. Oh, okay. Mine was skipping reacted, a bit. Yeah. It looked like Jalen caught the ball and then threw it out. My I was bad. like, oh, that's bizarre. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Uh, two Mavericks defenders reacted because Luka played bad defense and then... <clears throat> done so all right a few more clips <clears throat> next we have sam we have yaka purtle yaka purtle oh. let's go anytime you get yaka purtle in the action he, you're getting a bucket our guy dennis schroeder yaka Pertl, guarding who uh, White. toronto trade their first round pick this year for They're gonna as, as they lose pick. their 13th game in a row today top 10 pick for yaka purtle thoughts <laughs> yeah <laughs> probably not good uh dennis schroeder guarding Derek white at the top of the key um, Chris Stop sets a screen on Schroeder. Derek White gets in front of Schroeder. Pirtle, as he does, drops back all the way into the paint. And then you have Chris Stops taking a jumper just right over the face of, <laughs> of Dennis Schroeder. I don't even know why he waited. Can we look <clears throat> at this? Can, can we look at this? <laughs> yeah, Schroeder's face is at Porzingis's waistband. 
I'm screenshotting this. <laughs> this is phenomenal. <laughs> I'm going to tweet out. This is the five-year-old happen. trying to guard dad. <clears throat> Yikes. Yikes. All right. Two more clips. Sorry, Sam. We're going back to your Pistons here. Uh, is it here the same go. game? Uh, I believe it is so, the same yeah. Game. This is fucked. <clears throat> it is the same Quit game. picking on him, man. Derek White gets the ball top, uh, top of the wing. Porzingis screens Cade. James Wiseman drops back and then just... <laughs> it's just free free three free three for kp last one king's game <clears throat> third quarter chris stops Rosingas handling the ball at the top screens kevin herter gives him a little bump then you have demonta simonis on Derek white and kevin herter nerf guarding ball. chris stops Rosingas. and yep nerf ball easy peasy and you're done and the foul <laughs> this this is such a great display of the versatility that comes with this play because we've seen them, I don't think exactly. we've really seen the same bucket twice. Mm -mm. And <clears throat> everything for anybody watching this saying Jack just went through and picked like the good ones, I mean, you kind of do, but the statistics he gave you right at the beginning of this tell you how effective this is. Like what you're seeing is often the result. You're usually getting something positive out of this. <clears throat> and of course, like we've said time and time again with the late game stuff, you can't do the same thing every single time because they will adjust to it and eventually kind of make it not as good. But this is something that should be added to the deck. Any Anytime you're late in the game, you got to put this in, in the little deck. Yep. Agree. Good things happen when these two have the ball in their hands. I'm taking screenshots because when we post this video tomorrow, I'm going to tweet four screenshots of good things happen uh, out of the Derek White Chris Epps Porzingis pick and roll. And I just have four screenshots of Porzingis getting the easiest fucking bucket to see in your life. That's right. <laughs> Anyways, any final thoughts? Uh, no. Cool. Let us know what you think of this type of video. Sorry, it was film heavy. If you don't like that, apologies. But it's not an audio platform one, so I, I like it. I think it's entertaining. Anyways, uh, <laughs> appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll let Sam wrap it up. Yeah, thank you very much for listening or watching. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily uploads. We're coming at you with content like this every single day at 5 a.m. We have full pods coming out Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Game recaps the morning after each game. We're here live before each game a half hour for pregame, which is not actually pregame. It's nonsense. Uh, Talk and Seas is live on the channel Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m., give or take. Tuesday, we have Celts at the round table with the Celtic Avengers. You want to come out for that. That'll be a ton of fun. And if you like audio-only stuff, we got you covered. Spotify and Apple has all your pods and game recaps right there for you. So if you follow us and leave a five-star review, we would appreciate that very much. You can email us, hbtcpod at gmail.com is the address for that. Whether you are talking about the Celtics, talking about nonsense, sending in a rat list, we love to hear from you. Definitely reach out. Our socials are at How About Them Seas for Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. The Facebook is just the name of the podcast. If you follow us there, you're going to get our live streams, and you'll also get them on YouTube and Twitter. Jack's Twitter is at Jackson NBA. Mine is at Sam LaFrance NBA. It's it for us. Bye. Check, Taco. Come on. Taco. 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 Taco.